DreAllDay.com. Dre 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 Let's talk about change. Let's talk about real change. I'm talking about real, lasting change that occurs in your life. And I'm talking tangible change, not just um, change that we talk about or change in, you know, this, this is random. So a lot of people talk about changing, but they don't actually ever really change. That's the point here. And I'm going to tell you exactly uh, why this matters so much and the tragedy of the reality that many people want to change and they talk about changing and they think about changing but they never actually change and i'm gonna tell you why that is because again people want to do it it's not like they're incapable and that's not that's not the reason that people can't change it's just that they don't and i'm gonna tell you the real reason why they don't first of all the only way that most people change in life is that they just get older uh, fatter and uglier and I'm saying that in a tongue-in-cheek way, but it's also not tongue-in-cheek. It's also, for the most part, true. If you look around, any of you who's over the age of 30, go look at, go on, I don't know, Facebook or social media or something, and look at all the people you went to high school with. Tell me am I wrong. Most of them just got older and fatter, and maybe they're not ugly, or maybe they look the same, but they just got older and they gained weight. That's pretty much all that happened. And they had kids. That might be it. That might be the only change that occurred with most people from the time they were in high school to now. That's how, that's the only change most people ever undergo. They just get older and everything else pretty much stays the same. And the reason why people don't change in life, I'm gonna tell you why people don't change. Because real change requires something that most people are unwilling to do. Real change requires, here's the part that most people think they're willing to do. It requires discipline, commitment, and hard work. Now you stop anybody on the street and ask them, is there any way that you want to change in life? And they say yes. And then you say to them, okay, well that change is going to require discipline, commitment, and hard work. Are you willing to do those things? They're probably going to say yes. Now here's the thing. That discipline, commitment, and hard work is, those, those are the buzzwords and they sound good, right? But here's the thing that comes with discipline and commitment and hard work is that you actually have to Sacrifice some of your sacred cows to make real change in life. What does that mean? Sacrifice some of your sacred cows. Any of you never heard that phrase? Here's what it means. A sacred cow was like, you know, back in the days, and people might still do this these days in different parts of the world, is that you have these these cattle, actual cows, that you consider like you worship them. Like there are some cultures where they worship the animals. They wor worship uh, horses or dogs or cows or chickens or whatever animal. They just worship that animal. That animal is sacred. The same way we worship, like how we worship our dogs. Like you wouldn't just kill a random, somebody's random dog. That'd be crazy, right? People go crazy. But we will kill a, we will kill a rat or a mouse or what's another animal that will kill and it's not a big deal, a squirrel or something like that. Nobody cares. But in different cultures, they treat different animals with different levels of reverence. A sacred cow is the animal that you revere so much that you would never allow anything to happen to it. And you will hold on to that animal for dear life, no matter what is happening. And what I mean by this is not that you need to go you know, start up your own farm and have cows. A sacred cow, metaphorically speaking, is any idea or belief or habit that you are go you will hold on to tooth and nail no matter what occurs all of your life no matter what you will not give that thing up no matter what you are told no matter what you hear no matter who says it no matter what happens in your life a sacred cow is just that belief that you will take with you to your grave most change in life ladies and gentlemen requires that you kill some of those sacred cows the change that you want requires that you take a thought, a belief, a habit, an action, something that you said that you would never let go of, that you would never change, that you would never give up. You must give it up, let go of it and change it in order to get the real change that you want in life. Most change in life, real tangible change that will create real tangible results in your life is inconvenient. It's going to be you having to do something or think something or believe something or stop doing something, stop thinking, stop believing something that you thought would never, ever leave your life. Something you never thought you would do, you're going to have to do it to make real change in your life. That's what the discipline, the commitment, and the hard work is. See, 
Discipline, commitment, and hard work are buzzwords because they're things that everybody talks about doing and thinks that they're doing. But here's the thing. Most people are disciplined, committed, and hardworking at doing the stuff that is within your comfort zone, doing the stuff that you're already comfortable doing, doing the stuff that you're already okay with. All right, so if you like going to the gym and you say, all right, well, I want to make change in life, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, instead of spending 60 minutes in the gym, I'm going to spend 90 minutes in the gym. All you're doing is doing more of what's already in your comfort zone. You're going deeper into the hole where you already are. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but understand, if something's already in your comfort zone, you already are getting you're already getting pretty close to the results that you want in that space in your life. You want to make change in your life, which means something different. That means you got to do something that steps you out of the comfort zone, which means deleting one of those habits or adding a new habit that you're not comfortable with. Most people aren't willing to do that. That's why most people never change. That's why most people's only change that most people make is that everybody gets older because time goes on no matter who you are. Time is marching on for every, every one of us every single day. And then a lot of people just get fatter. That's a, a tongue in cheek thing. But honestly, if you look around again, look at your high school yearbook, they go look those people up. Most of them got fatter. Most of them didn't get skinnier. Uh, they got fatter. Most of them. So this is the thing that I want you to take from this. Cause this is not about hey, those of you who follow me know, this is not about other people. I use other people as an example to frame my point. But even when I say other people, um, I really mean that with a little, a wink. It's not really about other people. I'm really talking about you, but I'm just saying other people because you know, people these days are snowflakes. You would, people will take it too defensively. What I'm really talking about is you. Because everything that we talk about here, we always bring the conversation back to number one, which is the person in the mirror. What are you doing? I don't want to talk about what other people are doing. I want to talk about what you're doing. You, to make real change in your life, the things that you really want to change in and the things that you want to change to will require you sacrificing some of your sacred cows. What habits are you willing to give up? What beliefs are you willing to delete? What thoughts are you willing to have changed? What opinions are you willing to have challenged? Most people, their real answer to this question, they will probably say stuff that sounds good. If I just ask anybody randomly these questions that I just said, they will probably give some answers that sound good, right? The politically correct answer, like, yeah, I'm willing to change. I'm willing to do different things. If I want to get better, I'll do that. So most people will say something that sounds good. But to be honest, most people don't want to change anything. Most of you, don't really want to change anything and that's why you're not getting the results that you want to get in life because the results that you want to get in life will require you doing thinking believing being something different than what you already are you are unwilling to make that change on an emotional level that's why you're not doing it logically you'll do it logically if i sat down here and just laid out to you if any one of you right now if i was to talk to you right now on a, on a zoom call or one-on-one -on -one conversation and you told me what changes you wanted to make in life, what things you wanted to be different in your life. And I laid out for you, all right, here's strategically, I'm gonna build a roadmap for you. Here's all the things that need to be different in order for you to get this outcome in your life. And I laid it down, I put it on paper and told you everything you got, I wrote it down, then I explained it to you. And you heard me and I said, all right, let me know that you understand everything that, that I've wrote down on this paper. You would say, yes, Dre, I get it. I know I need to do all these things. It sounds like it makes sense. I'm ready to do it. You'd be all excited, hyped up and ready to go. And you know what will happen? You know what happened? Nothing would happen. You wouldn't do any of it. No, let me not. No, that's not. You wouldn't. It's not that you wouldn't do any of it. You wouldn't follow the plan 100% all the way. Most people wouldn't follow the plan 100% all the way. Even if someone was to give me a plan, I probably, at my first try, I probably would not follow the whole plan 100% all the way. You know why? Because human beings are so emotionally, we are so emotionally connected to our comfort zones. In other words, continuing to do think and believe the things that we already do think and believe that this is the reason why most people do not change it is not because we don't understand logically what to do it is not because we don't have access to the information it is not because we're stupid and we can't understand it it is not because we don't work hard it's not because we don't understand the concept of discipline and commitment all of those are excuses all of those are things that people might say are the reasons why you're not getting your results. Somebody might try to tell you you're not getting a result because you're not disciplined, you're not committed, you're not, you don't have the right habits, no. The reason why you're not making change is because you are not emotionally at the threshold necessary in order to do things differently and to kill some of your sacred cows. That's the reason why you're not changing. You haven't crossed the threshold yet. And until you cross the emotional threshold that will cause you to take on a different set of beliefs, habits, and activities, you will not change regardless of how much information is provided to you. 
And I don't care if you get the information from me, you get it from a, a program that you're in, if you read 30 books, if you uh, go to some uh, seminar, whatever you do, until you cross the threshold that is going to force you to emotionally see things differently, you will not change. So here's the question, what's gonna get you there? I can't answer that question for you. You have to answer that question for yourself. I can answer for you if I knew you personally, but speaking to the audience in general, what's gonna get you there, I can't answer that question. But here's the point, until you get there, you should get comfortable where you're at because nothing's gonna change. You're gonna be the exact same person a month from now, a year from now, a decade from now, until you get over that threshold. And if you're all right with that, I'm all right with it too. But if there's any area of your life where you want to get better and you know things need to be different, then, all right, then you know what the deal is. You know what needs to happen next. How do I get myself to that emotional point? Because emotion drives decision-making, folks. Logic justifies our decisions. When you get there emotionally, the decisions will happen easily. They happen when you're in an emotional state, an emotional peak, you make decisions very, very easily. And you make them and you make solid decisions that stick. I'm not talking about like a halfway decision. You make decisions that are not changing. You make solid long-term decisions when you're in emotional states. The challenge is you don't make those decisions often enough to make them stick. What the hell is this guy doing? And then you can't, you don't, no matter what logical information is given to you, you're not making any changes. So that's the deal. All that being said two things for you to do. First of all, text me so you get my daily motivation every single day free of charge. My number is 305-384-6894 and go to workonyourgameuniversity.com where I can work with you. If I'm working with you directly and I know you, I can help you get to this emotional point. I can help you get to this threshold to where you're going to make the changes. Many of you have never had anybody help you with this. You, you haven't even had anybody explain this point to you, which is why you don't understand it, which is why you're not doing it, which is why you're not changing all right, so I, my professional expertise is, of course, the mindset stuff you'll probably know me for, but it's a strategy. It's a strategy of understanding how do we get all this stuff to connect to where it leads to actual action and leads to actual results. That's what I do. You want help with that? I can help you, but you got to come, you got to meet me 51% of the way. I can't want your outcomes more than you want them. You got to take 51% ownership at least. I take the other 49 at most, and then we work from there. That's workonyourgameuniversity.com if you're serious about taking your life where you want it to go. If you're not serious, it's all right. Just keep watching uh, YouTube videos and it's all good. But it's your choice. Just know that it's your choice. Not my choice, it's your choice. Work on your game. Dre, all day.